Hi there, when PLCs were first introduced, their instruction set was limited to relay latch, timer, and counter functions. As the PLC gained increased acceptance in the industrial marketplace, additional demands and applications began to appear such as comparison instructions. In this video, after a short introduction about integer and float data, we'll see basic comparison instructions, then, we'll explain limit test instruction, and also mask comparison for equal. Finally, we'll improve the project which has been done in the previous video. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start. In the previous videos, we worked with output input files, used the binary file to store some logic on the PLC memory. Also, we saw how a timer or a counter work and save preset or accumulated values. Similarly, the integer file can be used to store integer numbers like 3 or 16. We can increase this type of memory like timer or counter files. In this data file, negative integer numbers can be saved too. The next data files can be used to store floating numbers. Note that the address of integers starts with N7, and the address of floating numbers starts with F8. Naturally, I can save more than one floating number. Also negative floating numbers or integer numbers can be saved in this data file. Alright, now let's see what are comparison instructions. Two numbers can be compared with these instructions, equal, not equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. Let's see how the greater than instruction works. Others work similarly. The greater than instruction output is true if data specified as source A is greater than the data specified as source B. For example, if source A is greater than the data specified as source B, this instruction can activate an output. Source A is the address of any data, which contains some value. For example, numbers in the counter file that are stored as preset value, or accumulated value. Similarly, source B can be either a constant number or a word address which is used to store a number. As you see, I can change this address and use another address easily. Now, the first number in the float data file with F8 colon 0 address, is compared with the integer number, which was stored in N7 colon 2 address. Also, I can use a constant number for source B. Now, let's test this simple program. Pay attention, I have opened this program in Arslogix Emulate 500 and also I have defined a suitable driver in Arslink software to detect my virtual PLC. Now, let me download and test the program on my computer, without any PLC.
As you see, the first value 2.9 is not greater than the second value which is 10. So the output is off. Let me change the first value and see its results. Now, 10.1 is greater than 10. So the output will be on. Alright, other comparison instruction work similarly. For example, the equal instruction is true, if data specified as source A is equal to the data specified as source B. Try to test other comparison instruction, but, let me explain the limit test instruction. Well, let me insert this instruction and explain it with a simple program. First, I enter 0 and 10, as the low and high limits. Now, I want to use the third integer number to test if its value within the inserted range or not. Let's test this simple program. As you see, the stored value on N7 colon 2 memory is 16, which is higher than 10. So, the test value is not in the selected range, and the output will be off. Let's change the test value to 8. The output will be turned on. Because the 8 value is between lower and higher limits, which are 0 and 10. But this condition is not true for minus 2. Now, we're going to see what is this instruction. Mask comparison for equal. This instruction takes three numbers, for example, 11, 10, and 30. You can see their binary form on the right side. Now, pay attention to the mask number. In its binary form, these two bits are 1. So, this instruction check the equality of related bits of the source and compare values. As you see, the equality condition holds for these bits, so the output will be on. Now suppose this bit be 1. In this case, the corresponding bits of the source and compare are not equal. So the output will be off. Let me test this instruction in ArsLogix 500. Alright, these are values of three numbers, which have been used in the mask comparison instruction, and explained in the previous slide. As you see the output is on. Let's work with binary form of numbers. Pay attention to the mask number. As you see, the equality condition holds for these bits, so the output is on. Let's change this bit of mask number. Now, the equality condition is not true for corresponding bits, and the output will be off. Let's change this bit of compare value. Now, all corresponding bits are equal, and the output is on. So, 
if these numbers are used respectively for the source, mask, and compare values in the mask comparison instruction, the output will be on. Alright, let's improve this project, which has been done in the previous video. Suppose there is an entry gate. We want to open the entry gate, if the parking lot isn't full, and also the entry sensor has been activated by a car. Let's modify this program, which has been explained in the previous video. We have inserted an entry gate to our parking lot. The entry gate must be opened when the parking lot is not full and also the entry sensor has been activated by a car. A limit test instruction can be used to check the parking lot capacity. So, I use the entry sensor address for this contact. Before, I defined a symbol for this input. So, I can use its symbol instead of its address. I write 0 and 10 for the low and high limits. And the entry gate can be opened when the accumulated value is in this range. Finally, I use the third output to open the entry gate. Now, I can test this program. But let me improve my program again. I want to use an off delay timer for car safety. I use an off delay timer to ensure the car has passed through the entrance gate before the gate starts to close. Let me compile the program. Well, here is an error. This message invalid output instruction position, is on rung 5 for the third instruction. To solve this error, I have to use the output and the off delay timer in two lines. So, let me use the output instruction in the next line, and use the done bit to turn on the entry gate. Alright, if the entry sensor is activated and also, the number of parking cars be less than 10, the entry gate will be open. And after the entry sensor is deactivated, the entry gate will be closed after 5 seconds. Now let me compile, download, and test the program. As you see, there isn't any error. Well, I must choose the program mode for my CPU. Let me back to run mode. Now, let me activate the entry sensor. As you see, when the parking lot is not full, the entry gate will be opened by each entry sensor activation. And then the entry gate will be closed, 5 seconds after passing the car through the entry sensor. Also, when the accumulated value reaches 10, the entry sensor cannot open the entry gate. We have reached the end of this video. Try to work with other comparison instructions. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section.
See you next time. Bye bye.